Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel and to a new video. I have freaking missed you guys. Happy December. I cannot believe it is, what is, what even is it? The 6th of December and we're only just getting around to this video now. We are finally putting up the Christmas tree and we're just gonna get straight into it. Uh, this video is gonna primarily be putting up the tree, not so much decorating the house because I figured we could do more like house decorations in December vlogs. So if you can hear my bird in the background going absolutely mental, but we've got so much to catch up on. Oh my God, I can't even talk, I'm too excited. Um, yeah, we've got so much to catch up on. Just need to address the elephant in the room since the last video, I got married. How crazy is that? That's just wild. I've recorded everything. It is literally just sitting on my SD card waiting to be edited, but I figured that this video was way more time sensitive than anything wedding related. So let's get straight into it. We've got a new Christmas tree this year. Can't wait to pull it out and see what it looks like. It's a little bit funky. It's a little bit quirky and it's a little bit different to what I would normally do before I show you guys the Christmas tree, I wanted to let you all know that this video is sponsored by Balsam Hill. I feel so incredibly lucky to be working with them three years in a row now, I think this is. And I can't wait to see what this year's tree looks like. So thank you so much to Balsam Hill for sending stuff over. I just feel so incredibly lucky. If you guys are interested, everything will be linked in the description. And let's open up this puppy. I'm so excited. Oh my god. All right, everybody. I've got my Christmas tea. T2 Christmas tea, as always. It is so good. If you don't like spices, though, you definitely won't be into this. If you like chai, tea, that is, you will be into this. 10 out of 10, I recommend. Okay, so over here we have the tree uh, still in its box. It's actually a two-boxer. I didn't realize that this is called the... Uh, European fir, 228 centimeters, easy plug tree with LED clear lights. So, normally, wait, where do we normally put the tree? <laughs> I think we normally put the tree, please don't mind that my house looks a bit crazy right now. Uh, like I mentioned, we got married, so we've got flowers literally everywhere at the moment. But we normally put the tree here, I think. Last year, we definitely put the tree there. This year, I'm gonna move my fiddle leaf fig over here and I'm gonna put the tree there. So, I'm really hoping that it works in this space because there's nothing I love more than a Christmas tree in front of a window. So, I'm going to push the lounge out of the way, push this out of the way so we just have a nice clear space to work in. And I think maybe a couple of years ago I put the tree here. It could have even been last year, honestly. I've got, my, my brain's just com completely frazzled by this point. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna pop it over there and let's see how we go. I'm going to pop on the Grinch or maybe the Santa Claus. I just finished watching this, the Santa Claus series on Netflix a few weeks ago with Clay. I absolutely loved it. Loved it. It's looking for the Grinch because it's not on Netflix anymore. Uh, which is so bizarre. Because now that I'm thinking about it, I actually remember um, a few months ago seeing that it was leaving Netflix. I feel like it's not on Disney Plus either. This is concerning. <laughs> um, there he is, of course. Amazon Prime. Perfect. Perfect. Alright, here we go. Let's do this. I love how Balsam Hill always gives you two pairs of tree fluffing gloves. 
And then I never actually know what this is for. I think this is to open or like pop off broken lights if any of your lights ever go on the tree. Okay, and I think we've got the bottom section of the tree in here, Dwayne. I'm not sure, but it's looking like it. stand and every piece is always labeled as well i know i feel like i'm talking really weird and it's because i think i've like i'm just i've been so go 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 that now that i've stopped i feel like my body's just gone okay let's let's get sick now <laughs> i just feel like i've got a little bit of a cold of your tree before you take the ribbon off the next layer if that makes any sense like what I'm about to do <laughs> so before I drop this layer down I'm going to start fluffing that are you going to help me? another thing as well with these balsam hill trees you only ever really have to do this once which is the first time that you'll set up your tree and then in the years to come it's pretty much good to go like you'll just need to touch it up a little bit but yeah, this tree actually comes with two tree bags as well, which is really cool. So it's not going to be hard to pack away. That is about it for the fluffing. I'm actually obsessed with how this looks. I love that it's not just like a classic tree and that it's like quirky and super fat down the bottom and then tapers off at the top. It's very, very cute. Let's light this puppy up. Oh, it's gorgeous. Look at that. That is just stunning. I am obsessed. I feel like, I don't think Dwayne's a bit excited about it, but. I feel like the camera just never does it justice, like, it's so beautiful. We're going to take a little bit of a lunch break and then we're going to come back and decorate. Mm -hmm. Do -do -do. The hair is up because it's just far too hot for it to not be up, but actually, I don't know why I'm wearing a long sleeve. Tree skirt is on. And I don't think I've popped any like sort of like sticks into any of my Christmas trees for a few years now. So I'm going to pop some of these just around the tree and focus these bigger ones around the top. And then I'm going to pull out all my beautiful ornaments. And we've got some new ornaments this year as well, which is really exciting. And figure out where to go from here because I really don't know like what sort of look I'm going for like I I always go for like red and gold because I'm just a traditional gal but we'll see maybe we'll pop some blue in there this year too I think maybe last year we did a little bit of blue I don't really remember <laughs> Body. We've got the rest of the ornaments out. The ones on the left are the brilliant Bordeaux ornament set from Balsam Hill. It's a set of 25. And the ones on the right that Dwayne was just playing with, the ones that have the blue baubles here, 
are the farmhouse Christmas ornaments that is also 25 pieces. I just need to figure out what I want to do. Maybe I'll do a mixture of both. We'll see. <laughs> it for the tree I feel like I hardly put any ornaments on it but that's the thing with these trees is they're just so beautiful you don't really need to do a whole lot but I do have a few of my like special ornaments over here that I still would like to put on the tree here's a little quick close-up of like my special ornaments this is one that Sky brought back from Malta for me oh, a few years ago now it's completely made out of glass it's like a little Jesus and Mary scene um, and then just a few other little special ones. This one has a bell in it, reminds me of Polar Express. And then this is Clay's favorite one. I absolutely hate it. I usually get him to hide it somewhere in the tree so I can't see it. And then the newest and most special edition. This is actually the fondant press for the cookies for our wedding gifts. And Clay just threaded this little bit of white ribbon through it. <laughs> And I thought that would actually make a really cute little ornament on the tree. So I'm going to pop these on and that will be it. Alright everybody, I think all the flowers in here are attacking us because we both have got the worst hay fever right now. <laughs> but... Tree's done! Finishing touches! Put the star on the dog! <laughs> Watch your head on that fan. Oh yeah, maybe. I'll spray it out cold. <laughs> Beautiful! You did it? You did it, thank you. You want me to turn it Oh yeah, please. Oh, that's lovely. I love that star, it's so pretty. Thank you. The Yukish man is from the hay fever family. Oh, that bloodshot eyes are gonna... my, I, my nose is red. Look at me. <laughs> you look terrible. I feel terrible. <laughs> oh geez, well, that is it. I feel like that took so long, but I'm so happy. It did. It took forever. I'm so happy with how it turned out. I think Dwayne really likes it too. You did tell me she's <laughs> Okay, I just turned the lights off so you guys can see what it actually looks like because I'm aware those lights are pretty crazy, but I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed. I just love the shape of it. I just think it's so funny and so cute. And I cannot even tell you how humongous this thing is. Like, so I feel so lucky and I'm so, so grateful that this is our tree. Like, I'm so obsessed. I have not stopped staring at it for the longest time now. And then I realized I need to finish the vlog wrap up the video tour. The Christmas Queen has returned everybody and I'm very happy about it. Plenty more Christmas content coming. Keep an eye out for it in the vlogs. I feel like this whole month is going to go so so fast just because we literally got married on the second day of it and we're still in our like little wedding bubble but yeah that's going to be it for the video. Every single thing that I've mentioned will be listed in the description box thank you so so much balsam hill for sponsoring this video and i love you guys thank you so much for watching and i can't believe it is the best time of the year like that is just so crazy to me i love you guys so so much and i will see you all in the next video bye and i've gotten you a present that i put under the tree tomorrow it is christmas falling